Hey, welcome back on this Monday morning. The Storm Prediction Center has parts of the UP under a marginal and a slight risk for strong to severe thunderstorms. Those are highlighted in the dark shade of green as well as the yellow. Uh, it looks like the worst conditions could potentially occur within parts of Dickinson and Menominee counties for the second round of thunderstorms when they fire up. So the main hazards with these storms, aside from some heavy rain, will be some damaging winds as well as some large hail. I can't rule out the potential of an isolated tornado either, and that's mainly likely across the far south. So just be weather aware for today. Here's the cold front. It's still just to our west. Ahead of it, we have our first round of showers and thunder showers today. These are not severe, and they're gradually fizzling out as they track east and northeast. So right now, some steady rain showers along the Wisconsin state line with a little light right near parts of Iron Mountain and south of Segola. Ahead of this front today, we're expecting some warmer air to move in for some parts of the UP. So the breakdown is 60s to low 70s in the northern areas, uh, but the heat will boost a little bit more across the far south. So if you're in the south central, you'll notice temperatures will be into the 80s. We could have some spots in the upper 80s as well. And then we quickly drop off this evening behind that front after it passes through the west and central counties. We're also going to notice it's going to be a little humid outside, especially if you're towards the south and along the Wisconsin state line. Dew point temperatures will be in the lower to mid 60s there ahead of that cold front. Once it passes, we have drier air that will filter in out of Canada and it'll become a little bit more pleasant for us for Tuesday and Wednesday. So here's the first round of showers and thunder showers. Those fizzle out by late morning. This is 11 a.m. I would say there's a good chunk of the day that you're going to be okay between noon through about three or four o'clock in the afternoon and without the concern of any uh, big thunderstorms. After five, five o'clock, we'll start to see those thunderstorms fire up along the cold front as it sinks into the central UP. So this is 730 this evening as those thunderstorms will be unfolding for the central and the eastern half. So that is going to continue to pass on east throughout the course of the evening hours. This will be out of the area by tomorrow, and so that's good news. It's a short amount of time, but they could definitely pack quite a punch. And as I mentioned, you're going to want to be weather aware throughout the afternoon because of that. Now, rainfall amounts not a whole lot across the west end. The central and the eastern counties will be ranging around three quarters of an inch to near an inch, inch and a half of rain in some isolated areas. As we look ahead towards the remainder of the week behind this front, we'll have some slightly cooler air through Thursday and then things start to pick back up and warm up to more seasonal ranges. Friday into this upcoming weekend, we have more rounds of rain and some thunderstorms. As the pattern stays active, we'll have another front move on in and that's going to bring in more of that enhanced risk for the showers and thunder showers for this upcoming Friday and then again Saturday and Sunday. So this is during the daytime hours on Friday. Uh, but it looks like for Saturday it'll be in the afternoon and it looks like for Sunday evening it'll be for the evening hours for those showers.